Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Harsha from Informatica GCS. In this video, I will be covering the topic different types of assets present in CDMP. Following are the topics that will be discussed in this video. Data elements, data assets, data collection, category, delivery template and terms of use. So let's get started. Data elements. It is the smallest unit of data in data marketplace. It may be sourced from any system or may have been already documented in a metadata source such as cloud data governance and catalog. The marketplace administrator or the technical administrator can add the data elements in cloud data marketplace. We can view the following properties in the data elements kit in the marketplace UI. Next, data assets. Data asset is an object that can be created, read, updated or deleted. It may contain related data elements. They are collections of data elements that are grouped together in various formats such as data set or a table. They are the building blocks with which data owners can create data collections. The data marketplace administrator or the technical administrator can add the data assets in Cloud Data Marketplace from the setup page. We can view the following properties in the data asset grids. Now let's talk about data collections in Cloud Data Marketplace. They are nothing but collections of data assets, which are in turn made up of data elements. A data consumer or a data user can order a data collection to request access to the data. A data owner category owner or data marketplace administrator can create data collections in cloud data marketplace. We can view the following sub tabs on opening a data collection in cloud data marketplace UI. Now let us cover categories in cloud data marketplace. A category is a grouping of related data collections created by data marketplace administrator. It is a predefined classification where the data marketplace administrator can publish data assets and a data owner can create data collections. In Cloud Data Marketplace UI, on the home page, we can view all the categories that are available in Data Marketplace. We can click on a category to view the category details, as shown in the image on the right. Next, let us discuss about delivery template in Cloud Data Marketplace. A delivery template defines the delivery target of a data collection, that is the location where a data collection can be delivered to a data user or a data consumer. It also contains the method and the format in which the data can be made available to a user. The data marketplace administrator configures the delivery templates from the setup page. A data owner can use a delivery template as a guide to create a delivery target and attach the target to a particular data collection. The delivery targets for a data collection provide data users with various options to get access to the data. Next, Terms of Use Terms of Use in Cloud Data Marketplace is nothing but the conditions and the guidelines for appropriate use of a data collection. It gives an indication as to how data should be treated after a data user has access to it. There are two types of Terms of Use in Cloud Data Marketplace. First, general terms of use. It is applicable for all the data collections. The next type of terms of use is nothing but additional messages that are applicable on only specific data collections. The data marketplace administrator or the technical administrator can configure the terms of use from the setup page. Now let us proceed with the cloud data marketplace UI to view these assets. This is the Cloud Data Marketplace UI homepage. These are the list of categories. Let us click on one of the categories and view its details. The category page covers the category summary details and the list of data collections. Now let us open one of the data collections. The data collection page covers various sub-tabs including summary data assets. 
The summary tab includes all the details about the data collection. Let us view the data assets tab. This tab includes all the data assets which are part of this particular data collection. It also includes the list of data elements of the highlighted data asset. For instance, if I highlight the user's data asset here, it will list all the data elements which comprises of the details of this particular data asset. Let us open one particular data asset. The data asset page includes the data asset summary including all its details along with the data element details and the rest. Coming back to the data collections page, we can also view the delivery and the terms of use of tabs. This tab includes the delivery targets configured by the data marketplace administrator. Next, this tab includes the terms of use configured by the data marketplace administrator for this particular data collection. By default, the general terms of use is visible for all data collections. Now we have covered all the assets in Cloud Data Marketplace UI. This marks the end of this video. In case of any queries regarding this video or any suggestions or feedback, kindly reach out to us using one of the following links. Thank you for watching the video.